If you're thinking about installing LED troffers, this video is for you. So you can see this office space has four fluorescent troffers. We want to reduce the number of troffers down to just two, and we want them to be all LED and get away from the fluorescence. This will save money on the energy bill and make a nicer lighted environment. And these LEDs we brought from superbrightleds.com. At the time of this recording, this is not a paid promotion. I'm just sharing with you the product that we used. And here's a part number that we used. So let's unbox this unit. Nice looking troffer, lightweight. There's one Phillips head screw that holds on this little access panel. There's your hot, neutral, and ground wire. Black is hot, white is neutral. These are dual voltage, so 120 volt or 277 volt. Pop out those knockouts to bring in your BX cable pretty easily. There you go. Now with the power turned off to this lighting circuit, we'll go ahead and remove the old troffers and then start installing new troffers. And obviously we're working on a drop ceiling today. So basically with the power off, you'll disconnect the wires going to each troffer, remove the troffer from the drop ceiling, install the new troffer in the drop ceiling, and reconnect your wires. Now these here are actually older LED panels. They still work great. Uh, management wanted to replace them for a new style. So I'm going to remove these LED troffers, these panels. And again, there's BX cable running to all of these. That's a flexible metallic type conduit. Remember to watch your head when you're working up inside a drop ceiling. You don't want to hit your head on some unistrut or a metal pipe or ductwork. Okay, now we'll go ahead and install this first new LED troffer. Again, they're lightweight, easy to install. They just sit right on these T-rails. And these are the connectors I'm choosing to use that work well with the BX cable. You push the BX cable in, the connector itself is a push-in style connector. Makes it quick and easy. Let me show you how. And you see it even comes with the anti-short bushing built into it. And here's what the BX cable looks like installed in that connector. And you simply make up your wire connections, tuck them neatly inside, and reattach that little cover plate, and you're good to go. There's a light installed with the power back on. Here's one of the other troffers installed. Great thing about these specific models is you can see you can adjust the Kelvin rating and the power usage of the light fixture by simply moving these switches. Wow. Last but not least, on the emergency circuit where the light stays on 24 seven, we're gonna be installing this LED driver with backup battery it tells you here where to hook up which wire. So it makes it fairly easy. You can see all the wires are color coded and labeled. So if the power ever goes out, this backup battery will keep that light on for a certain period of time. 
and it does a self-test mode every so often. Also comes with this charging indicator test switch so you can test the light to make sure the battery is indeed charged and working properly. Again, color-coded wires and their wires are labeled. I hope this video helps you. If you got any value from it, please consider subscribing. It helps the channel move up in the YouTube algorithm so we can help more people with their maintenance and repair tasks. Please like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment, and thanks for watching.